Why or what is causing branches on my pecan tree to fall off? This is the only one of many branches that I've found on the ground that look like they have been cut. And this is from Tom and Bartlett. It's a good picture there, Mr. Tom. We know what that is. We know definitely for sure what that is. That's a, that's a pecan twig girdler. Very, very mm -hmm. common. And uh, if you have pecans or oaks or hickories or anything like that, they're, they're uh, very common, very common. They, the adult emerges in uh, uh, late August okay. through October. So that's why we're seeing all those limbs now under the tree. Uh, the adult will start girdling on that twig and most of them are pencil size, three eighths inch in diameter. Some of them are a little bit bigger, but most of them are from, from a, you know, about three eighths inch in diameter. Right. And uh, she will start laying eggs. She'll lay eggs out toward the end of the twig. Uh -huh. And most of those twigs will have from two to eight eggs in them. Some of them have been found to have 40 eggs in them. Oh, that's a lot. But she will girdle around that, and she won't cut it completely. And that's, a, that's a, one way you can really tell that it's the twig girdler that did it. She will leave the yeah, very little... inside uh, of that you know, twig attached to the tree, and then when a wind storm comes, it'll break it's it off. break off, right. And uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, egg will hatch, and the, the larvae will feed on that and that, and that branch that's laying there on the ground, it will feed there and then will pupate and emerge next year as an adult next August. So, to control them, right. <laughs> theoretically, you ought to be able to pick up every one of those right. and destroy them, burn them, grind them up, or something like that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, these, the adult is a longhorn wood boar, mm -hmm. about a half inch, five eighths inches long. And uh, has the, the antenna are longer yeah, than long, the body. Yeah, are longer yeah, than sure. the body of the boar. They're pretty strong flyers, so mm -hmm. they can cover territory. And uh, if you pick all these up in your yard, you need to go out in the wood lots next to you and pick them up. And you need to go to your neighbor's oh, yard and get theirs too. Right. Because, and and then even if you do that, you know probably wouldn't. You know, they're still going to fly in there. They they're going to search that. out the pecan trees, and uh, they they really like them. But there's we do not recommend spraying insecticide okay. to control them. Wow. And that's what I thought. No yeah, so just practice good sanitation, just right? Good get sanitation. Them get them up and don't just don't. Com this is something you don't compost. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, okay. you don't right. pile them up in a brush pile for the rabbits to hide under because they will hatch <laughs> out and you'll have a lot more. You know, you'll get more and more right. and more. But uh, I can tell you that I pick all mine up and I burn all mine, and I have them every year. Mm. I don't think I have as many as I used to have though. You know, I really don't. Okay. I mean, I, I don't think I have as many. I've had it maybe this year. I don't have as many as I've had. Right. So I, maybe I'm beginning to do some good. There you go. But you pick them up like you just mentioned. I pick them up, but I don't go out in the woods oh. next to the house and pick them up out there. And I have pecan trees out there and hickories and everything out there. So right. I'm not going to do that. Hope you enjoyed the video. We would love to get more questions from you. So be sure to leave us some comments. 